things that I'm gonna go ahead and make today is a cauliflower salad and it's like a mock potato salad. Luke and I are on keto and one of the things that I sometimes miss is the salads or different things and I was missing potato salad and we kind of stumbled upon this recipe and I've done a few things to make it my own and I wanted to share it with you. Um, not only is it a great keto lunch or you can pair it with some chicken or some kind of protein, it's also a great snack. So I go ahead and I make a little bit at the beginning of the week and I have it all week to eat. It keeps great in the fridge. So here is the recipe for my cauliflower or mock potato keto friendly salad. So the ingredients that we're gonna need is one large head of cauliflower. I go ahead and just buy this, um, the packages of cauliflower at Costco. It just saves me time rather than having to cut up the cauliflower. So I get one package of this, or one head of cauliflower, half a diced red onion, about six slices of bacon cooked and crumbled, one tablespoon of fresh dill, about a half cup of mayonnaise, and a heaping teaspoon of mustard. And then I love blue cheese, so I'm gonna add blue cheese to my recipe. You guys can use cheddar cheese, you can use Parmesan cheese, whatever kind of cheese you like. The only other ingredient that sometimes I've used in this is a hard boiled egg. I didn't wanna do that today. I don't always like hard boiled egg in my salad, but you can definitely add one if you want. So the first step that you're gonna do is take your cauliflower and you're going to steam it, but you don't wanna steam it too long. You only wanna do about three to four minutes. You wanna get it tender enough, but not too tender. So it still kinda has a little bit of a crunch to it. So go ahead and steam your cauliflower for three to four minutes until slightly tender. Once your cauliflower has been steamed, you wanna go ahead and drain it and rinse it under some cold water. Put it in a bowl and you wanna let it chill in the fridge for one to two hours. After that, all you have to do is add in all the rest of the ingredients, mix it together, and enjoy. And it keeps great throughout the week. I hope you guys like this quick tip and thanks for watching.